hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here in this video i'll be showing you how to blanch your vegetables so that they can stay green and vibrant just like this i'll also be showing you how to make those delicious steamed vegetables that's super healthy very yummy and goes with practically anything if this is your first time here do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and join our beautiful family Firstly, I'll put you through all the ingredients I'll be using for my steamed vegetables. The first ingredient I'm showing you is this smoked bronze. I love the flavor that it gives to these vegetables. The next ingredient is bonga fish. You can use any kind of fish that you like. Now for the pepper mixture, I'm going to be using some chili pepper and scotch bonnet. You can add some red bell pepper as well, but you do not need any tomatoes. Salt, seasoning powder, and then onions. I'll be using two kinds of vegetables, the pumpkin leaf, also known as ugu leaf, and then I'll be using some efo tete, also known as green. Now you can use just one combination. I personally love the combination of the two. First thing I did was to go ahead to blend the peppers. You want to blend this roughly. You don't want it to be smooth. And I was already blending it before I realized I wasn't recording. And then I added my onions. I'm going to roughly blend this. You do not want your pepper mix to be a smooth paste. And this is what it's looking like. Next, you're going to go ahead to wash your vegetables. You want to wash this for about two or three times, depending on where you buy it from. If you're in Nigeria, you know that we get our vegetables straight from the farm and there's usually a lot of sand you want to get rid of those sand as much as you can so i added the water into the bowls and i washed this for about two or three times till i was satisfied next i'll add some water into my pot and then i'll place this on heat you're going to allow this water come to a boil now once the water has boiled you are going to turn off your heat we do not want to do this while the water is still boiling you just need the water to be hot and now once the water is hot you're going to add your vegetables into the pot and then you're going to allow this seat for about two to three minutes While this is sitting, I'll go ahead to prepare my cold bath water and that's just adding some ice into my bowl of water. It's going to help the water get really cold and help with the blanching process. Do not forget your vegetables in hot water for too long. After about 2-3 to three minutes, just go ahead to strain it and after straining guys, you want to immediately transfer this into that cold water. That's because we want to stop the cooking process. If you leave it to still be hot, the vegetables can get soft and that's not what we want. So transfer them into the bowl of cold water and then you allow it to sit for another 2-3 to three minutes. After allowing that sit, you're going to go ahead to squeeze it out, set aside and get it ready for use. guys this is how i blanch my vegetables and look how vibrant and green they look they haven't lost as much nutrients as people think they will lose when you blanch it in fact it even helps the general outcome even after cooking and now that we're done blanching let's go ahead to make our delicious steamed vegetables the first thing you want to do is to heat up some oil you can use any kind of oil i used olive oil and once that has heated up i'm going to add the pepper onion mixture Stay together and you're going to allow this fry for about two to three minutes before going in with your spices. For the spices, I'm keeping it very minimal, salt, seasoning powder. Now this is steamed vegetables, I do not think you need to add a lot of spices. But if that's your preference, please go ahead. Combine together and you're going to allow this fry for about five to six minutes. Mm -hmm. 
now i'll add my bonga fish and i'll also add the smoked prawns you can add any kind of protein you want at this point go ahead to add it combine together you're going to leave this to fry again just so that all of the flavor from the prawns and the fish can get into the sauce <music> Now that the sauce has fried for about six to seven minutes remember to do this on low heat guys you do not want to cook this on high heat at all go ahead to add in your vibrant green vegetables into the pot or into your sauce and then combine together if you have watched at this point it means that you enjoy what you're watching and why haven't you subscribed Kindly hit the subscribe button and join this family. There are tons and tons of recipes and so much more for you to watch for your educational, informative and viewing pleasure. Guys, just subscribe please. <laughs> you've properly combined everything together you're going to cover this and allow to steam for about three to four more minutes i love my vegetables very crunchy i don't like it to be soggy at all so i'm not going to leave this for too long now some people say when you cover your vegetables it turns dark guys it doesn't happen when you blanch your vegetables this way they still look green vibrant and they haven't changed color and that's it guys we have our delicious steamed vegetables this is not only yummy but super healthy very very healthy it is great for people that are on weight loss people that just want to add some um, healthy meal in their diet this is perfect for you this delicious sauce can be paired with rice spaghetti sweet potatoes yam plantains trust me you can pair this with anything i went ahead to portion this because i was doing a meal prep and i just stored them in my refrigerator you can store them in your freezer if you want them to last you longer thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and do not forget to hit that like button it's going to help my channel guys please hit the like button share this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't guys subscribe to my channel leave me a comment in the comment section tell me what you think about this recipe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye